After you have written your narrative, it is time to record your narrative as an oral presentation. You can do this with a variety of applications like GarageBand or Adobe Audition. However, the one that I recommend for digital storytelling is Audacity. Audacity is a free, multi-format audio recording application that works on a Mac or a PC. This demonstration reviews Audacity for Mac, but on a PC version, it is almost identical. Let's launch Audacity. Now before we start recording our voice, we want to make sure that we're using the headset microphone and not the internal microphone on the computer. The headset microphone records sound more clearly than the computer display microphone, which can pick up a lot of ambient noise. We can verify that our headset is enabled by clicking Audacity, Preferences, and then selecting the headset device. In this case, mine is Logitech USB headset. Try to keep the headset microphone at least two inches away from your mouth when recording. Okay. Now let's start to record by clicking the red circle. As I record my voice, you can see the visual representation of my voice as a blue waveform. Pay special attention to the peaks and valleys which indicate the amplification of my voice. Stop recording by clicking the yellow square. To the left of our waveform, we see an indicator that measures the amplification of my voice. You want to make sure that the waveform levels are between negative 5 and positive 5. If they exceed negative 1 and positive 1, then your voice is too loud and the sound will be distorted. This is especially important for thundering words that start with the letters P or B, like potato or brother. Your digital story should be no longer than three minutes, which is equivalent to 180 seconds. The seconds of your story are represented above the waveform, right here. Every time you record, Audacity creates a new audio track. As you can see, when I'm recording, you can hear the track that I recorded before. It's very distracting. Note the mute and solo buttons on the audio track sidebar. When you play the track over to listen to your voice, you will hear every track playing at the same time. To isolate your preferred track or re-record a track without deleting, click on the mute or solo buttons to mute or solely play the selected audio track. To play the track over, click the green triangle. You can also hit the space bar to start and stop playing what you recorded. As you can see, when I we can edit our recording by amplifying our voice, adding echo, or even changing our pitch. To amplify a specific section, we can highlight it by clicking and dragging across the waveform. Next, I'll click Effect and Amplify. If I select Allow Clipping, it will boost a waveform above plus one and negative one. Let's try that for an effect. See how the waveform increased? I can change the pitch of my voice by clicking on Effect and then change pitch. A negative number will result in a lower voice like Darth Vader. A positive number will result in something similar to the chipmunks. Let's try a higher pitched voice. We can add an echo effect by clicking Effect and then Echo. Let's see how our new voice sounds. As you can see, when I'm recording, it's very distracting. Remember the gift of your voice. It is an essential element of a digital story. And it's important not to overwhelm your story with an array of effects. If you do use effects, just make sure you have rationale as to why you use them and how that, that makes your story more compelling. After we have recorded our audio, we will want to delete all additional tracks that we're not using by clicking the small X on the very left of the audio track. Then we will want to export it as a WAV file. We can do this by clicking File, Export. 
It is important to know that if you save your Audacity project, it will not be an audio file. Instead, it will simply be an editable Audacity file with a .aup as its suffix. This is simply an Audacity project file and does not import into iMovie or Windows Movie Maker. So, to create an audio file, you must export your recording. So go to File, Export, and save it as a WAV file. Once you've successfully created your WAV file, you are now ready to add your photos and produce your digital story.